on the cause um, or just makes us look good as a, a people, you know, is a positive frame of reference for us, you know. And also, it's people like who don't get enough, you know, roses or maybe they're famous, but nobody really uh, talks about them enough or has never, ever acknowledged them or does not not acknowledge them enough for all what they do. So those are all the criteria that I do the spotlight for or uh, I really, really try to spotlight people to get a bad rap for people that just, you know, got a bad rap as being low down and no good. But anyway, on to the uh, spotlight. Today's spotlight is on Kevin Hart. Born Kevin Darnell Hart in 1979, hailing from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or not Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia, excuse me. Yeah. What I say? <laughs> I'm messing up already. Let me see. Because he likes to roast people. Philly, Pennsylvania. I know he's from Philly, but like, yeah. Anyway, I'm having a brain fart today. My bad. But, um, so, he has four children. Um, he started doing comedy at 19. He got his big break in a uh, comedy uh, showcase in uh, Montreal. And then, um, according to Wiki, his big break came on the show, uh, his first show. Undeclared. But um, The Hood knows his first big break. And he, is, he himself has even attributed his first big break um, in Hollywood to uh, Paper Soldiers. But um, he also had another television as well with a phase on love called um, Big House. So he had like a lot of uh, television incarnations before, you know, kind of blowing up into the entity he is now. Um, he also did Soul Plane, um, you know, for uh, With no better words to explain a cult classic, a hood classic. So playing one of the movies were so bad that it's actually good. So that, Paper Soldiers, um, he just kind of took off. Myself personally, I think he kind of napalm bombed when he did um, Shaquille O'Neal's um, Comedy All-Star Jam. Um, I forget the exact title of it, but I think it was in uh, Phoenix. It was him, D. Ray Davis, uh, Tommy Davidson, and uh, Earthquake. I think Earthquake was there in it. No, it was, it was quite a few other people, but I remember he was a standout one. He was a standout comedian, like out of all the people. Oh, said the entertainer. I don't know why I wanted to say Earthquake. But um, yeah, he killed on that. Um, what else? Um, 
He also has a, a nonprofit called uh, Heart Heart Foundation or Heart Help, excuse me. And they're in conjunction with Brady Care. So let me punch it up to make sure, and then I'm saying it right. Then I'm right. Yeah. It's help from the heart, excuse me. Helpfromtheheart.org. And um, they're in conjunction with Pretty Cares. Now, um, the uh, nonprofit focuses on, um, this is the term that I hate, underserved community. Young people in the un underserved community, AKA the black neighborhood. So, Kev, if you're listening, like, you gotta get them to fix that. Cause that ain't nothing but a dog whistle when they say underserved. It ain't nothing but a dog whistle when they say urban or inner city. Just um, young children. You know what I mean? That's what they should say. Or just youth or black youth. Just say black youth. Gotta say underserved, but anyway. That's his um, nonprofit organization. Um, he also has lent his uh, voice to um, Unite Negro College Fund, um, KIPP, which stands for Knowledge is Power Organization. And um, what I like about Kevin, what I admire about Kevin, why I'm giving him the spotlight, is his, uh, you know, his tenacity and his uh, hard work ethic. He's like, he's not the best, and he's even said it out in his own mouth that he's not the best comedian, but he knows how to play up his strengths and uh, hit his marks and um, construct um, an efficient system, like something that works. He can be like, this works, this works, this works. And throughout his career, if you've been uh, paying attention, he deconstructs things that don't work. He just makes um, things more efficient. So he makes the jokes better. You know what I mean? He kind of, kind of just, like, he got other people, like, writing his material, but he gives it life. And he plays it, plays his strengths up. Um, he knows he's only 5'4", so, you know, he's not a tall man, but he makes it work. You know, that, that's what where the jokes are. He knows, you know, where to hit his mark. Um, in addition to that, although he doesn't like, you know, publicly get, you know, politically involved, he is kind of like pretty much told where the problem lies and in the media. So I can't remember, uh, I think it was, uh, Facebook live feed he had did um, in the wake of, I think, I believe it was George Floyd. It might have been Amar Arbery, but um, uh, he was he was pissed off. He was pissed off. Um, he was like, it's the media. It's, you know what I mean? He was letting them know, you know, He's a funny guy, but when it's time to speak up, he speaks up. That's the point I'm getting at. Um, he definitely opens the door for other comedians and let them do, uh, let them shine. Um, he doesn't really do back and forth with people a lot. Um, basically, he just gets right to it. Like, the only person, people he does back and forth with is people, like, he's kind of on good terms with, like, he did, like, a weird joke prank with Nick Cannon. Like, gave him a vending machine of condoms. I don't That was weird, bro. I don't, that wasn't even funny. That was just weird. 
That's some weird shit to give another man. But um, yeah, though, still big up on Kevin Hart. I don't know who gave the condoms. Maybe Nick gave him the condoms. Whoever gave the condoms, that's weird. You weird for that. It's just, I don't know. That's a that's a pause moment to end all pause moments. But anyway, um, like I said, I admire him, his uh, tenacity. Um, you know, they keep on trying to uh, cancel him. They came for him, um, I think, like in 2015 with the uh, whole, you know, the so white thing. He went on and just said, you know, just whatever. I'm not even going to host the Oscars. He was supposed to host the Oscars the, um, the year Chris Rock hosted the Oscars and um, everybody else boycotted, all the black people boycotted. Not really boycotted, they just said they wasn't coming. So I don't know why they said boy, why the media chose to say boycott. But um, anyway, um, I just appreciate his uh, emotional intelligence and strategy. So he's uh, like emotional, emotional, intelligent brother, emotionally intelligent brother, and a strategist. He got to just, you know moves his piece around the board and positions himself into where, you know, he can keep growing his brand and um, keep on maneuvering in, and, uh, you know, I believe his ultimate plan is just to have total ownership and to where he can just build his own, um, his own media outlet. That's, I think that's the end for him. Like he's, he's really hitting on the door with the, uh, Laugh Out Loud and um, Heartbeat Productions, but I don't think that's actually his. So he's trying to get something where it's just actually his from the top to the bottom. So he's building, he's getting them cements, he's getting those cement blocks in place. Little Man with Big Vision. So clap it up for Mr. Kevin Hart. Appreciate you, brother. Keep on continuing doing what you do for comedy and the culture, and, you know, keep mashing. All right, so next segment is... the health benefits of basil. Now the reason why I do the um, health and wellness segment, I just I jumped the gun. I'm just, I'm a gun jumping son of a gun today, ain't I? Um, I jumped the gun, but um, this section is the health and wellness section. The reason why I do this health, uh, this section is to um, do my part to provide a health and wellness tip on how to promote and maintain the active, healthy, fit lifestyle so we can stay ahead of this um, thing because we are at the target of it. Um, so if I can do anything on my end to, you know, pass along the knowledge, that's what I'll do because, you know, if you go to the hospital for anything, if you're black, they're going to say, you got that thing. And then once it registers in your subconscious mind, then the physical symptoms will ensue, and then you will be in the ICU. Mm, bars. But, um, yeah, so we definitely don't want you even going to the hospital for nothing, saying you got that thing, when all you have to do is just, like, basically eat right, exercise, and get plenty of sunlight, stay hydrated, and fortify your immune system. So, having said that, I am not, you know, a medical doctor, I'm not an herbalist, but I am a person, you know, every tip that I give, I incorporate into my everyday life, and I have not been sick. 
I might still get like sniffles, 